Hi everyone, Deathclaw Girl here, and welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking, and by grabbing some of my free ebooks and audiobooks. Today I'm promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series, and Monster of Monsters, a sci-fi horror. You can read and or listen to the first two stories of both these series for free. I've left the link in the description. And now to this video. In this video, I'm doing the very first scout report for the Disaster Dock Bundle. So my basically my scout reports are just I go around and show you a couple good locations uh, to place these themed um, camps. And I got uh, two locations in this video. Plus, uh, it, it'll actually be three different camps, but two locations. Now, the first one, let's go to the map. Let me do show you before I forget, has iron deposit. And this is a new gad. It shows that it's a lake, but this entire thing is a dry bed. So this would be an excellent spot to throw all your stuff to look like, yes, once there was a boat, some docks here, but now it's all dried up. Now, of course, you cannot build where New Gad is. You can see I'm a distance away. So um, there are also floaters in this water right here. Let me get a little closer. And I'm going to show you where you can drop your camp. Okay, so about at the edge. About at the edge of where the river is. You could probably even go this way a little bit, but this place is huge, so definitely, definitely, I encourage you explore it. Uh, this particular one, I'm going to call the anchor spot. It has this giant anchor, and this boat is already here. So this is not the one that comes with the disaster dock. This is one that's already here. It'll just go along with your theme. It's a little bit more beat up. Yours has a little bit more stuff on it. And it also has this overturn boat. And let me show you. Um, but this this place is pretty oh ski boat. Lots of mole my uh, mole rats though. Just beware of them. Actually, I think they spotted me. Yeah. So I'm going to try to come over here and get on top of this building and finish what I was saying. But also, you can build over here. Let me make sure go into uh, L1. Yep, you can actually put it on top of the shack and incorporate the shack. Um, but you might want to put it a little bit more over to incorporate some of that water. There is a little bit of water there. Um, so yeah, this is the first spot. So now I'm going to take you to a spot that I've actually set up my camp. Actually, I said it wrong before. I'm going to be going to three spots. There are four camp spots in all. So the next one is actually the Ohio River Adventures. This is, uh, let's see, what is one of the, um, let me drop this camp so I can fast travel to it. Got a little delay. That's okay. I think the mole rats are a little angry with me. Yep. See the dirt keep popping up. But anyway, the Ohio River Adventures. Let's see, there's something. Uh, oh, it's the dock. The dock that comes with a disaster dock is actually called Ohio River Adventures Dock. Um, but this place is one of the top places. This place is great. This is my camp. I just threw out a couple things just to kind of give you an idea. Of course, here's that steamer. Here's the dock I actually built. And I sunk my ship. So this is the ship that comes with it. But what is next door, right, right next door, are some raiders. Now, I believe I'm neutral with the raiders right now, but I believe everyone is neutral with this particular set of raiders. He's actually a named one. This is Black Eye. Uh, I was thinking you could trade with one of these also, but this place is extensive. 
it just kind of flows from your camp into this clamp. This is probably going to be a very highly sought out area, but there are several, several camps that you can get. Mine right there is right next door. Uh, as you can see, there is usually there'll be a settler or a scavenger. And right next to them, you can see mylark eggs. So this is a good location to come and harvest them. And yeah, just that spot right there. But let me show you where I threw my camp. Let me see if it's still there. Or did I move it? Oh, yeah. So I just put it there. So let me see how close I can actually get. I think that was as close. Yep. But there is another spot right on the other side. Just as good. So if someone has taken this one, you should still be able to take this side of it. So there is a picnic table. Where is it at? Okay. So yeah, the picnic table is offside. So let me start from the picnic table and I'll show you where you can place your next camp. Oh, actually very close. So here's the picnic table. So you just go a little forward until you hit that. Now, if you're wanting, If you're wanting to incorporate water, you need to go a little bit further. Maybe throw it on top of here. Oops, it's not going. Or even all the way to the edge. Oh, look at that little fish! Okay, yes. Along with more Mylark eggs. But again, this is the second... Oh, there's still another Mylark. So there's going to be lots of Mylarks here. But like I said, this location has two really good spots. You can throw your camp if someone has already taken the other side and you like this spot. I think you can even move it this way. Let's see. Ooh, maybe take this corner area. That way you got more of the water. Just depends on what you want to do because you can probably throw your dock out there. If you do take this area, let me know how it works out. I really like to hear how people have done with these uh, suggested spots. I will tell you that over there is out of bounds. We're on the edge of the map. So yeah, as of right now, unless they expand the map, that's out of bounds. So the water goes, it, it shows you in the green. It'll show you how far, because I can actually swim. I'll just go ahead and show you. I can also actually swim nearly to the edge. See, it's telling me I can't go that way. Now I've hit the border. So you can probably build out to about here with no problem. And now I'll find, uh, show you my final camp location. Now again, this is just scout report number one. I try not to make them too extremely long. <clears throat> Let me just see. Let's drop this one. Now this one is very close to Vault 76 and very close to a place called the Isolated Cabin. This is a very, very tiny lake. Very tiny. But there's always going to be a NPC there. Uh, there's already a dock there. It even has a fishing pole on it. it. So just to incorporate this into your theme, this is an awesome place. So, okay, this dock is already here. There's the boat I threw in. It's sunken. Um, I, oh, there's usually lots of chickens here. Um, this is where I put the steamer. Initially, when I set the camp, I think I went to the end of the dock, and that's where I put uh, the camp machine. And like I said, there's a fishing roll, fishing pole. There's also a fire cap. Um, these will always respawn. Let's see what else is here. Redundum. I think that's about it on the flora. Some wood. Oh, the snap. Snaptail, that's one. Oh, and honey. So be careful, the bees. They will vi uh, um, periodically attack. So they will give you honey. That was one of the hives. Let's see what else is here. And this is the dock I built to the boat I built. 
again, they're both sunken. You might be able to manipulate them a little bit better to where they're on. I've not been able to float a boat yet, but in my second scout report for the disaster dock bundle, I'm going to try to actually float one of them. So, so far, I've only been able to sink them. And here's some of those walls that came with the kit. So, yeah. I really like these locations so far. There's bunches of these little tiny water holes. So if you do find a location, throw it in the comments. If you build somewhere, throw it in the comments. Where, where did you really like? Where do you like to like try out your stuff? Especially with the nautical theme. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else. Yep, that's it for this scout report. Again, three locations, but I forgot to do maps. Let me do a better job. Okay, let me get out of the book because it's going to drop. I forgot to do map references. I usually am a little better than that. Okay, so here is Vault 76. And like I said, the closest thing is the isolated cabin, but there's also the Gilman Lumber Mill. And basically, it's very close to this road. Let me now show you where Gad is. Gad, you just go south, and then to the east, you'll see the giant lake. It's right in the middle, if you don't have it on your map just yet. And um, then just west of that, all the way to the riverside, is the Ohio River Adventures. And again... I put one camp on one side and I suggested that you could probably put it on the other. I'm not sure where the location is on the map. I forgot to look, but uh, that location, there's two that you can build here. They'll look really great incorporating the already Ohio adventures that is there. So you got two chances. And if you have fallout set, uh, if you have fallout first, I would suggest building in fallout first first and then going into public worlds because that way if it's if you really love the camp and you can't set it you could always leave and go to a different public world all right now that should cover it hello chicky chicky all right now that is it for this video if you have any questions so i'm in the comments again i'd love to hear where you threw your uh Camps, and was anyone able to float theirs yet? I got a couple ideas myself to try in the scout report too. So look for that maybe to drop later on tonight or tomorrow. All right, check you guys later. Happy building, happy gaming.